This is Niela. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So today what I would like to do is talk about twin flames and twin flame connections and what's out there and also what I have picked up myself intuitively, what has come forward when I've been doing readings and also what has come forward through my guides as well. I am very aware that this is a sensitive subject to talk about so I am going to do my very best to share my thoughts on this in the most sensitive way that I possibly can. I'm not here to tell anyone what to think or what to feel or here to tell anyone what you are feeling is wrong or not true or not correct. I just want to make that clear straight away. You are free to believe whatever you choose if your beliefs are hindering you or hindering your growth or keeping you stuck in an unhealthy way then you may want to rethink those beliefs of yours and I do feel in many instances the con connection to what is out there about twin flames actually does do that to many people. I want for you to be happy and healthy and for you to have a good healthy relationship not only with yourself but also with others as well and to form healthy romantic connections if you haven't already done so. I would like for you to love yourself unconditionally and to be in a place where you can form a healthy and secure relationship with another too. That's obviously if you choose to do so. Many times at the start of my reading days, when people asked me about Twin Flames, it was a, a very new thing for me. I've basically had to fast track learning all the spiritual terminology to be able to reach out to you and be able to be on the same page. Obviously, because I've just gone through much of my spiritual journey by myself, sort of the, the lone wolf, and learn very much intuitively. All of the terminology that is out there, such as twin flames and light worker and star seeds, is very new concepts to me. So I've really had to feel into it intuitively, see where it matched on my own journey, and, and then really feel into what was programming and what actually was was truth or my knowing, my inner knowing of what truth was. I initially, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel a connection to what was being presented to me as a twin flame connection. Something just didn't sit right when these people were coming forward saying, um, can you give me a reading about, about my tw twin flame? Something just didn't sit right about that connection many, many times. I had an inner reference to divine connections and went with my intuition as I learned through giving more readings and from what was coming forward from, from my guides as well. And really only a small handful of the readings I did actually rang true to my inner standing of a true twin flame connection as I picked up and learnt through this process of reading for others. So much picked up around um, this was what I believe to be very much false and um, can be put forward as nothing more than a programme which I believe is to keep vulnerable people who have not yet fully healed or moved into an empowered state believing that they need someone else to complete them. This is very much a program running, making that person believe that they need to be with someone to further progress personally or to further progress spiritually, to further spiritually evolve if they remain connected to that other party. I feel that this keeps that person stuck in a state of limbo and in a state of confusion as well and really um, stops, stops growth, stops progression and like I said just keeps this person very much stuck. 
Now, this might actually sound counterintuitive, but to have to have a healthy relationship, it's important to focus on you and where you are at on all levels at all times to stay very conscious. The deeper understanding you have of yourself, the more you are tapped into that unconditional love for self, the more you are able to know very much what works for you, what your needs are and how you function, then you are more able then to form a healthy relationship with another, to give unconditional love to another and also be able to draw that in, draw in that com compatibility with another person to have that shared connection, that shared, you know, understanding and inner standing of what unconditional love truly is without attachment. And I feel the very much the program running mainly seems to be where you have this attachment to another. Now, I'm going to be very honest, speaking about Twin Flames has actually made me cringe um, each time due to such misinformation that is out there and the toxic program very much associate, associated with Twin Flames. So I've done my best to avoid um, speaking about it in my videos, I've done my best to avoid speaking about it in readings and um, and such and yet it is coming forward in a very big way, in a very strong way right now. And I will explain why I feel this is so in my next Earth Talks video that um, I, I do actually feel it's important for me now to, to explain about Twin Flames so that we are on the same page and so that you've got more of an understanding if you do choose to watch the next Earth Talks. I feel that it's important to be clear about what I mean when I do speak about Twin Flames and um, also so you understand it in future videos as well, you've got that reference there. Nobody is here to complete you. You are already whole and you are already complete and nobody can take or add to that fact. You know, you are very much everything that you may be seeking outside of yourself. You are already that. It's already there waiting within you to, to be tapped into. And that includes love, unconditional love. Um, I do feel that um, if more of us can tap into that unconditional love for self, then the better relationships we are going to have moving forward. And for me, I do feel like the true twin flame connection is really paving the way for this new divine um, union moving forward and also to form healthier relationships within family units as well. There's a lot of toxic ancestral patterns that are coming to the surface right now to really be dissolved and let go of. And it does feel the, the bulk of the healing is really connected to the work that the twin flames are doing either separately or together. The ego tends to latch onto labels such as twin flames, starseed, light workers, etc. So the the twin flame, the false twin flame program is really catered to the ego latching onto that and, and forming an attachment to that twin flame concept. Um I do feel that um either a single person or a person in a relationship can still connect with that unconditional love and I am living proof of that. I've been single for a very long time and um, I am very much in a place of love. I am vibrating love, not because I am taking love from another, but because I have got this appreciation and love for self. And because of that, I am now able to form a very healthy relationship, a new, a new love story with another moving forward. So I've very much um, singly worked out what was the problem in my past relationships 
so that that has really stopped that cycle and I'm now going to be able to form a healthy relationship with another moving forward. So we all have divine feminine and divine masculine within us. That is something that we all have. I believe and what has been taught to me from my guides is very much that the soul is genderless in expression but we do all have the divine feminine and the divine masculine within us. I do feel like the, that at this time there are many um, souls that have come to express as gender fluid. That is very much where they are not expressing as divine feminine 100% of, of the time and they're not expressing as divine masculine 100% of the time. They have actually fully integrated both aspects and are expressing as whole and complete and will not um, be one or the other but will allow that that gender the gender of feminine and masculine just to express um, in a very fluid way I do believe however the same as um, the twin flame and also um, what I believe um, the chakra programming, the gender fluid programming is very much out there in a very toxic way as well. There is true gender fluid people, but unfortunately there's a lot of people that have really um, been manipulated by the false gender fluid programming that is going on and if you would like me to speak more about that in a future video then that's fine let me know but as this is about twin flames I will leave that there and continue to speak about twin flames so the twin flame programming um, I believe really plays into the karmic relationships and is disguised then as twin flame connections a toxic program running to very much disempower and keep us in a lower level energy to keep us many of us stuck in toxic situations and toxic relationships let me say right now that staying in a toxic situation just because you were told or have a feeling that they are your twin flame is very damaging on all levels and it's important to very much leave that situation if you are in an abusive relationship if it is damaging your health in any way then please get yourself out of that situation whether you, whether you believe they're your twin flame or not it's important to really think of your health at this time i do believe as well that a true twin flame would very much not um, get to that stage where it would be abusive. There is a lot of love, a lot of unconditional love and that person, that other person would have very much worked through um, their issues to be able to express to you in a very clean and healthy way. And a lot of times um, when they're not able to do that, that's why there is separation. So the twin flame, um, programming the toxic twin flame pro programming very much is what what i fell into these readings is very much telling the other party that they have to stay in that situation and that's so damaging and it really breaks my heart to hear a lot of people in situations just because they believe that that is their twin flame so please please do not do that Please think of yourself and your health and, and get yourself out of that situation. So um, cutting cords is very important as well and also learning how to empower yourself. If you are in an empowered place then you are very unlikely to stay in that situation. If somebody is not um, respecting your boundaries respecting you as a person respecting your your health um then that's not true love so please please think about that i do however feel that there are lessons to love um without attachment through these toxic situations and these to toxic relationships and also this will really help you to form healthy relationships moving forward 
if somebody is not ready to be with you or ready to be in a relationship, ready to give you a romantic relationship or commit to you in a romantic way, then this is very much um, a, a highlight for you to learn to let go of the need to control, to break the attachment program and to very much move on. So a lot of times the twin flames will come together um, for a little while and then they will have they will have to burn away the attachment programming and they will have to learn how to stay in an empowered place and they will have to learn about unconditional love for self so that is why we do have this separation sometimes with the twin flames where they've come together and then they separate because they've got individual work that has to be done first before they can come together. Um, twin flame unions tend to either come together when both parties are spiritually mature enough to grow together or when they come together they are able to work together without any um, personal issues getting in the way so that's very much um, why sometimes there is a, a period of separation. We also get this um, coming together to activate a sense of remembering or awakening. Often we do have soul contracts with others to meet and this sparks an intense remembering or awakening and because of this intense connection we then may associate it with what is this false programming of the twin flame connection. So there is a very authentic twin flame connection, but there is a false um, twin flame program going out as well. And there are so many soul connections out there that we will meet and we will have this spark of remembering we will have this spark of awakening and also many times a healing process going on as well. And it is very intense, it is very real. And sometimes we do have that intensity connection that it's so easy to believe that they are our twin flame, that they are the person that we are meant to spend our entire life with. But in actual fact, um, if the other person doesn't feel the same way, or the other person isn't isn't meant to connect then there's somebody out there for you so please don't form that attachment because true love true twin flame connections is all about non-attachment so if you have got that attachment to another then it is either because you need to work on that attachment program within yourself or because it is not a true twin flame connection if we are out of balance either in our divine feminine or our divine masculine energy we may seek out another who is balanced in that way and try to correct our imbalance through their balance and again this will form an attachment with that other person and it will not you will not be able to build a strong healthy relationship from from an unhealthy foundation you both have to be very balanced individually in your male and female aspects to be able to form a balanced relationship and if you are in any way in not in balance then you will not be able to form a healthy relationship and by trying to correct yourself through another it's only going to cause toxic connections so please be mindful of that i have known females and males to create an attachment to the male or female who were more in touch with the the other quality so the divine feminine or the divine masculine quality and um then there is this kind of domination going on where they try to level the energies out through this connection and they're left feeling lonely, they're, they're left feeling isolated because they're not connecting with a part of themselves. If you are fully connected with, with yourself, if you are able to fill your own cup up, then you're not constantly taking, taking, taking from another or allowing another to constantly take from you. It is very balanced, very even when you are taking 
it is refilled when you are giving it is refilled so we've got this constant flow going on if in any relationship you find that it is out of balance in some way then this is very much highlighting, highlighting that there is an imbalance within yourself so again all connections are there mirroring back to us um, in some way of where we need to correct ourselves or where something is out of balance or where we need to heal in some way so in that way that really shows us how connected we are with everybody and how we all play our part in helping one another and you don't just need one isolated relationship to be able to do that we can have that kind of relationship and connection with everybody in our lives our children our parents our friends our, our um, co-workers you know we, we get that kind of connection with everybody we are all mirrors to one another but it is just very much um, intensified with the twin flame connection because they are a clear mirror to your to your inner workings to your soul they will connect with you in a way that nobody else does so that's why it is so intense and that's why sometimes one party um they're not ready to face themselves in such a way so so they may run off um until they are ready or unfortunately sometimes they're just not ready in this lifetime to have such an intense connection with another because they're not ready to look at aspects of themselves i have felt the outer balance and going back into balance myself through my own healing journey and i've also seen it seen it played out um within couples and also within this um energetic divine feminine and divine masculine in the collective as well it feels to me that the more balanced we are within ourselves that is really the key to have happy and healthy relationships with others and i feel like this video would get very long if i continued um, to share the other information that i've got so what i'm going to do is stop this video right now and do a part two to this so I hope that has helped you in some way. Please stick with me and join me for part two. Goodbye for now.